I'm Pete Seifer. And I'm Megan Turner. Whether you're building a new house or remodeling your current one, energy efficiency should be an important consideration. But sometimes that's easy to forget when you get caught up in the finishes like hardwood floors, granite countertops, and lighting. But all that won't matter if your home's not comfortable. That's right, Pete. Today on Powerhouse, we'll introduce you to the couple that lives in this newly built home. And it was the energy efficiency the builder included in the home that sealed the deal. We'll also tag along with an energy rater as they go into a home to establish just how energy efficient it is. And that's right. We'll see what goes into an Energy Star rated home. But first, let's check out a builder who is lighting up a new home with the latest technology. Let's discover how you can save energy with building and remodeling today on Powerhouse. Powerhouse, presented by Alliant Energy. A lot goes into planning a new home, and homeowners are faced with a lot of decisions. So many decisions, like what windows to get, and what countertops to get, and what the layout should be like, and what we're going to talk about today, what kind of lighting to select. Join us as Paul Brindell with Allen Custom Homes, and he's going to show us with this new home how energy efficient lighting comes into play. Uh, what we have before us is actually a range of different LED lighting products that this particular client has selected to go into their home. Um, what we have down on the end here, Pete, is a LED can light, uh, much like what we're used to where you screw in a bulb. In this case, the bulb's are already self-contained in the unit. These individual spheres or circles are the actual light bulbs or LEDs all contained within that module. What we have here is a LED uh, under cabinet lighting module here and they, these little uh, tabs here are the actual light bulbs. So there's the just two little lights in this. Exactly. Exactly. What we have here is a LED puck light. Uh, it's an accent lighting. These actually here will mount up inside of the cabinets that we see up behind us and provide a background lighting in those. Uh, in this case, there's three bulbs or three LEDs in there. I noticed that there are a lot of uh, holes here ready for lights, more than a traditional kitchen, is that right? Uh, exactly. The LED can light has a, a little narrower beam than what you'd get with incandescent lighting. So how we offset that is we need to put more of the LED can lights in. However, because of the reduced energy consumption, they're consuming about 70% less power than a, a conventional incandescent uh, can light. So you can put a few more so of them in there. So to add more isn't going to add to the cost. It, it'll add to the installation cost, but the actual uh, ongoing or usage, your utility costs will still be lower by having more of these. And also, Paul, it, it's generating less heat, right? So uh, That is accurate. And in, uh, incandescent bulbs are notoriously uh, inefficient, partly because of the heat generated. An LED bulb or, or lighting uh, assembly will produce much less heat thus contributing to its efficiency. Yeah, we don't have to run the air conditioning as much during the summer, right? Exactly, exactly. Now, as I look at these, these are, what, the next step up in from fluorescent bulbs? Uh, we feel that LED lighting has the promise to be the next generation of lighting in residential homes and commercial applications also. Now, I want to talk about these. I think this is really cool. These are let's pretty slick. Let's get away slick. from the ceiling lighting and, and let's talk about this other type of This LED. is the fun stuff here. This is, this is what we call accent lighting. Uh, these are actually, uh, most people are used to or heard of rope lighting. Well, this is the LED version of rope lighting. It actually comes in standardized lengths that actually plug together and you can expand uh, as required for your application uh, to any length required. Uh, they're, they're bendable. You can twist them, go around corners and bends, et cetera, et cetera. Any of the artistic applications? Uh, they, they have, uh, we're only limited by our imagination. Right. You know, Megan and I have we put in rope lighting before, but this, you know, if you have any issues, what you just you just separate and, and yep. take a bad one out. Yep. You you disconnect the power, pull them apart, replace the section where the bad bad LED is, 
and put in a replacement and, and you're up and running again. And this is adhesive backed. Exactly. So these here, you peel this off, you could apply them pretty much anywhere. Now, as, as we talk about life for this, Paul, I mean, to up to, could be up to 20 years, so they're, they're lasting a long time. What about replacing when I look up and replace it? Is that, is that difficult? Uh, the, the actual uh, replacement is pretty easy. It's not as simple as unscrewing a bulb. You have to take a couple screws out. And this, in this particular case, um, there's a couple screws in, in the bottom of this can. You take those out, and this assembly comes out and you'd slide in a new assembly. So you don't replace each of those individual bulbs, it's uh, the module itself. Correct. Now you alluded to the savings. Let's, let's talk specifically about other ways we can save. Obviously energy because of the heat, the air conditioning, all of that. Let's mm -hmm. talk about the savings of LEDs. Uh, you know, we've, I mentioned a little bit about lower power consumption, so you're gonna save on utility bills. Uh, because of the, the expected life being considerably longer than incandescence and even fluorescence, you're going to have reduced maintenance costs. By using technology like this, it certainly would cut the costs. Yes. Mm -hmm. Your upfront cost, uh, to reap the benefits of that, you're going to have to invest a little more upfront. However, uh, as more and more people adopt this technology, uh, we do feel the upfront investment you make in this will start to come down. That's true with any can... kind of technology, right? Ex exactly. Yeah. Let's talk about specific costs just to give our viewers a ballpark idea of what we're looking at for initial investment, like this piece, maybe these that, that we're familiar with. Sure. The, the LED cans are running around $150, $160 a piece. Uh, an incandescent uh, uh, that it's replacing, they're running around $30, $35. A fluorescent is about $10 up from that, so around uh, $40, $45. So you can see it's about $100 per can increased cost. The LED uh, under cabinet lighting here, this, this module here is running about $125, uh, where uh, a fluorescent's going to be around $25, and then a the halogen's going to be about $70. Well, I can see how costs would be cut by implementing such energy-saving technologies. Exactly, Megan. Uh, the costs really, if properly designed in, your savings are going to come in reduced power consumption, reduced maintenance. Your cooling loads are going to be lower in the summertime just because they operate so much cooler than fluorescence and incandescent lighting. Now, when we come back, we'll find out about other ways you can build energy efficiency into a new home. Stay with us. We'll be right back on Powerhouse. Energy.